sworn into the high office were acting Chief Justice Roxanne George and President of the Guyana Public Service Union, Patrick Yard. They are now aligned with the JSC's mandates and are vested with the authority to make appointments and remove or exercise disciplinary control over persons holding or acting in judicial offices. Speaking of the ceremony was President David Granger, who congratulated the duo on their new appointment. The President also highlighted the significance of the Judicial Services Commission, pointing out that it was directly prescribed in the Constitution. The JSC is an indispensable element Guyana's legal architecture. The JSC is the guardian of judicial autonomy. It is the defender of judicial independence. It is the protector of judges' integrity and impartiality. The JSC is intended to insulate judicial appointments from political partisanship and from personal and other biases. Furthermore, Granger posited that the JSC is obliged to ensure that its recommendation for appointments of judicial officers flow from a passionate and objective process and are based on clearly defined criteria applied in the assessing of the appropriateness of appointees. As such, he assured those in attendance that this highly prestigious commission is committed to justice in all manners. The JSC is the custodian of the values and standards of ethical and legal probity by judges and judicial officials. The JSC must zealously ensure that the personal conduct of judges does not bring the judicature into disrepute. It must preserve and protect the integrity of the judicial system. President Granger extended his best wishes to both Justice George and Yard as they go on to safeguard the high ideals and standards of Guyana's judicial system. On this mission, they will be joined by Acting Chancellor of the Judiciary, Justice Yonet Cummings Edwards, Justice Prem Prasad, and Justice Lenos Perry, who are already existing members of the Judicial Services Commission. Reporting for the Evening News, Ashraf Dabi.